it's Pastor Dan from Dexter Gospel Church. Thanks for watching this Proverbs Practical. Today's proverb warns of a danger we often don't consider in our society. We're in Proverbs chapter 6, verses 9 through 11. It says, How long wilt thou sleep, O sluggard? When wilt thou arise out of thy sleep? Yet a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to sleep. So shall thy poverty come as one that travels, and thy want as an armed man. Our culture kind of glorifies being busy. People even seem to brag about how little they sleep, then how much of a drug, caffeine is a drug, right, they consume to circumvent their lack of sleep. They shrug off God's guidance for rest and pile on activity after activity so that there never seems to be an empty moment, even if a lot of that activity is honestly just self-generated social media activity or not truly productive. However, there is another extreme of self-indulgence that we can fall into easily. The last proverb suggested that the person who doesn't work wisely and well go visit an ant and note its work ethic and approach. Then Solomon gives this warning for the lazy person. He warns them about sleeping in too late. I know it can be hard to get up in the morning. I'm not really a morning person myself. But you know the feeling of laying around just a little bit longer and then suddenly you realize the day is too far gone to get everything done. So Solomon asks, when are you going to get up? Is there a plan here, or are you just indulging yourself because it feels better to fold your hands and doze off again than to get up and get moving? He warns that this self-indulgent laziness leads to poverty. Now, they didn't have the social, the social safety nets that we do in our culture today. Now, of course, laziness is not the only cause of poverty. There are people who are very hardworking, but are still mired in poverty because of circumstances beyond their control or because of other faults. However, those who are lazy have put their feet on the road to poverty, even though they could avoid it. Control your sleep. Don't let it control you. Have a plan for sleep that gets you the rest you need, but doesn't indulge you in rest you can't afford. The idea of the traveler, the armed man, is that he can come upon you at any time, unexpectedly, and he can overpower you so that by the time you know the danger is there, it's too late to avoid it. Poverty is hard to escape, even in our society. Laziness is a difficult reputation to shake, and that reputation can follow a person, keeping them in poverty once they've slipped into it. Hard work is one of the greatest indicators of success across professions and occupations. Being able to govern ourselves to be as productive as possible by regulating our rest and disciplining our labor pays dividends in our work and across our lives. I hope this video has helped you. If so, give it a thumbs up to give it a like, and if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel for more insights on the scriptures. We'd love to see you in the comments of these videos, and we'd love to see you in person here at Dexter Gospel Church. Until next time, hope you stay well and rest wisely.